really gonna start filming this video at 11.30. Hello friends, and by friends I mean those of you who know me by Jared, or Anonymous Kangaroo, or more recently, Roo FPV. Uh, regardless, I'm sad to report that the reason I am making this video in the first place is because this happened. Anyways, as many of you know, I fly drones for a hobby uh, and video platform. Uh, this video platform requires many different components to work together fluidly, so the suspension of reality, which gives you the sensation of flight, can be a seamless and integrated experience. Now, there are many different parts of a quadcopter or drone, but first you must ask what, in essence, is a drone? Uh, in this form factor, uh, it is a radio-controlled aircraft that has aboard it a live video transmission system, um, that uh, so you can kind of think of this as like your cable box being flown around at speeds exceeding like 100 miles an hour and I need something that's made out of actual carbon fiber instead of uh, cheap Chinese knockoffs I know I know I should have bought the real ones in the first place and I wouldn't be in this situation blah blah I'm a college kid okay and uh, every dollar that's not spent on this hobby is not spent on uh, yeah, you know. To do this and maintain control of the craft, you know, at those speeds, you have to be able to have a control system that's reliable. Um, and this is where the receiver comes in. This is uh, the processor that uh, receives the sets of ones and zeros that your uh, transmitter sends to the antennas here on the side, on uh, angled in this specific orientation here so that you have maximum 90 degree lineage so that you get both the horizontal wavelengths as well as the vertical wavelengths. Um, and then the receiver uh, gets that signal and it sends it through to the flight controller, which is the brain. This one's made by Brain FPV, and it's the brain of the brain of the drone brain. Anyways, this allows it to maneuver in 3D space and direct the orientation in, and you know the positioning of the drone. So you can kind of think of this as like, um, the way that your phone determines its position when you're playing a game or like watching a video or using an app, like you can tell the orientation when you rotate it, the gyroscope inside, it's the same kind of concept. Next you have the electronic speed controller, or ESC for short, um, and this is what controls the individual speeds of all four motors. Uh, this board happens to be the X-Rotor Hobbywing 45 amp 4-in-1 board, so it's just one board instead of having four individual speed controllers on each arm. Um, and this one happens to be good from 4 to 6S voltage. So that pretty much wraps up the remote control aspect of the craft. Next, let's talk about the video transmission system. So here you can see we have the camera, um, or the eye of the drone, and this is what allows the video signal to be streamed over essentially like a modified security camera. Um, instead of it being just a hard wire through a building, you just have a wireless transmission system out of an antenna that goes out the back at a near instantaneous rate. And this way, I don't have to worry about you know the restrictions that come with typical line of sight, which um, is a like if you're just standing there and watching and not using these goggles. But yeah, other than the video transmitter or VTX, which is what sends that live security style CCD image through the connected antenna to the goggles, um, that's pretty much it, and we're ready to get on to that beautiful, sweet, nice B-roll repair footage. So enjoy, guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
there we go. We swapped in the core plate and uh, salvaged the Chinese fake one. And so now we have this machine that, in my opinion, I think it looks sleeker than a Cadillac. Uh, that being said, it is unfortunately uh, December. And I'm sure you've noticed it's the next day. Uh, but it's raining and snowy and cruddy outside. So it's not exactly mini quad safe right now. Uh, so what that means is you guys get to see some cut together montage footage of what these parts look like when everything's working properly. So uh, I guess before we go, we'll power it up and show you that everything is slick. Oh, it's bright. Ooh. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I could not do this without you guys. I love making it and you guys clearly love watching it. So for now, I'm going to keep making it. And let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to make this kind of stuff more often or if there's any other topics you guys would like me to cover. I think I'm going to make that battery video soon. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a happy holiday. Take care.